time at a new twist of fate but we have waited all night for in one PW, his fourth match ever was a dark match for this company. He comes back over a decade and a half later in the main event, his wife Vicky by his side, hungry uh, for respect. Opponents. Hungry for respect. the broadcast running down Rob Van Dam's resume alone from his recent Hall of Fame induction to his time spent as a world champion in WWE, ECW, Impact Wrestling, a two-year run as ECW television champion, memorable matches with men like Jerry Lynn, and AJ Styles, and Jeff Hardy, and Sabu through the years. And with his wife, Katie Forbes, by his side. A most different demeanor from Katie Forbes compared to Miss Vicki Haskins, referred to by many as the Lady Macbeth of pro wrestling. But a rock star like atmosphere for a rock star like Rob Van Dam, another timeless athlete. In peak physical shape to this day. Mark Haskins looks impressed by none of this. Haskins feels that he is not just underrated, but overlooked. And he doesn't get the fanfare he deserves. He doesn't get the attention and the adulation and the cheers that should come his way and we've seen Mark Haskins in Impact Wrestling and Ring of Honor and certainly throughout Europe but uh, Haskins feels that uh, he's only received a, a small sliver of the pie that should rightfully be his and in Haskins mind he writes that ship by beating Rob Van Dam and sending these fans home upset. Haskins calls himself the prodigal son of 1PW. RVD may be the uh, adopted son of 1PW. Great ovation for RVD as you would expect. The bell has sounded 17 years ago. It was AJ Styles and Abyss main eventing our very first event. Fast forward, Rob Van Dam and Mark Haskins.
At the time of our first event, Rob Van Dam was touring the world in WWE. Mark Haskins, I'm not even sure if he had started training yet. Rob is so cool, calm, and collected. Every minute of the day, you're not going to get Rob angry. You're not going to throw Rob off his game. Rob has that center. He's got that, that power of the mind, that zen. But I'm curious as to what role Vicki Haskins and Katie Forbes will play. I know that, uh, that Vicki has said some very unkind things about Katie, some of which I'm not going to repeat but essentially called her trash and a coattail rider of Rob Van Dam rather than a distinguished, intelligent, skilled manager like v Vicky Haskins is. And I suppose time will tell on that editorial. Calm before the storm. Haskins psyching himself up. Van Dam ready for anything and slips in underneath very quickly with the arm drag. RVD is never shy to celebrate his accomplishments. And Van Dam, uh, Went to identify himself maybe one too many times. Haskins doesn't want to hear it. Ouch. That was a hard collision. And one that Rob Van Dam, I don't think, had braced himself for. The ironic thing here is Haskins. Oh, Van Dam comes through with a spin kick. Haskins grew up idolizing RVD. And as Haskins charges from behind, now Haskins looks at it as, quote, tonight is my opportunity to slay one of my idols and claim my rightful spot as one of the industry's finest. Haskins uh, went from looking up to Van Dam to wanting to end Van Dam. Looking down his nose at Van Dam. RVD reverses the whip. And Rob Van Dam looking for style points, but Haskins isn't here to play. Haskins is not here to have a name calling cut. And Vicky's got a hold of the ankle of RVD. And it allowed Haskins to come in from the blind side. Come on, referee, do something. The official had to have seen some of that. I'm not sure if Katie Forbes saw that on the other side of the ring, but. The damage has been done, clearly. Well, Haskins has taken out the knee. And when you think about how much offensive Rob uh, depends on the extension of the leg, the flexibility, or his, his ability to quickly get to the top rope, it's a smart move from the man dubbed Overkill. I understand from, from the camp of Haskins, he suffered a minor leg injury in training for this match, which further adds to his want to keep this match on the mat. If Mark can't go with Rob from a quickness standpoint, let's face it, not many men can. I'm not mo knocking Mark saying that. I think some of the best in this industry would be dazed and outmatched by Rob's quickness. But Mark wants this type of match. Pick apart a body part. Make Rob hurt. Make him suffer. Mark with a knee. And as a top wrist lock on the man once dubbed Mr. Monday Night. 
Maybe he'll be Mr. Doncaster, Mr. Twist of Fate, Mr. 1PW. Rob counters out, but that aggressive wrench of the arm shuts things down, courtesy of Haskins. And uh, uh, Rob is feeling it in the arm and shoulder. That's to be sure. Oh! Haskins, all of the weight down with that stomp. Trying to dislocate or hyperextend something. And feeling pretty good about himself. And Mark is a man who's been in the ring with some of Rob Van Dam's best friends and biggest rivals. Speaking of Jerry Lynn, Sabu, and Rey Mysterio, to name a few. Mark feels it's destiny to be in this moment here and now. It's improbable destiny. Once upon a time, no one thought there would be a 1PW, let alone this match on, its, uh, on the stage of its main event. But here we are. We are doing the improbable, nearly the impossible. And we got a full house with their eyes firmly locked on Mark Haskins in control of Rob Van Dam. And Haskins is not going to get any love from this crowd. Haskins has maybe the, the akin of, of, of taking a, a timeout in team sports. He's taken the crowd out of this. He's taken away Rob's momentum. And Haskins is going at his own pace. Almost as if he's, he's running the clock out and trying to take away Rob's endurance as the match gets deeper. Haskins a modified uh, cross face of some sort. Rob gets to a rope. Rob could sense the lights dimming. Haskins doing damage. Rob needed a way out quickly if Rob had a hope to rebound. Van Dam comes up swinging. Haskins responding, and Van Dam the spin kick. RVD connects. But how much has been taken out of Rob Van Dam leading to this point? Crowd firmly in the corner of Rob Van Dam, but it only serves to motivate Haskins further and the chip on his shoulder as RVD gets the foot up. Springboard spit kick at X. Rob doesn't have full mobility of that leg thanks to Haskins, but he's getting what he can. And in that exchange, it was enough to get back to his feet. Van Dam comes in, spinning roundhouse kick. A second time. RVD was integrating martial arts and pro wrestling before it was cool, before such a thing as UFC existed. Rob Gold, monkey flip, got great elevation. Well, Van Dam's back in his element, and an instruction for Katie Forbes. Katie Forbes playing Fonzie. She's got a steel chair for Rob. Now, I don't believe this is a no disqualification matchup, however. Referee's admonishing Van Dam. Oh, wait a minute. We've seen Van Dam do this time and again. Wait a minute, Vicki Haskins is in the ring. And she forcibly takes that chair from her husband's face. And she, what the hell? Big 
Nikki Haskins just incited violence and took out the referee. And Katie Forbes seizes her opportunity. This matchup is broken down. Katie Forbes using her assets to her advantage. And Vicki Haskins may regret the day she inserted herself into Rob Van Dam's business, so to speak. Vicki Haskins taking out of the equation. We have a motionless referee. Out Haskins downstairs. Mark Haskins takes advantage of the various distractions. And, oh, TDT. Van Dam got spiked on the steal. Nothing he could do to counter that. And Rob Van Dam is limp and motionless. Oh, Haskins. Haskins stomps the arm of Van Dam directly into that chair. And even with Vicky not an issue, Haskins has, has taken this match and run away with it with the use of that chair. Rob Van Dam is in a bad way. And Haskins gonna end this. Rob Van Dam into the chair, no. Van Dam came up with the extension of the leg. That flexibility saves him. And RVD going a little rolling thunder. Haskins is down. Rob knows he needs a referee to get a pin because Rob's thinking five star. Oh, yeah. Rob Van Dam oh, couldn't get the splash. Five star frog splash was countered all that. Haskins hit the kill shot. Haskins hit the kill shot, and Mark Haskins has pinned Rob Van Dam. Mark Haskins has realized his destiny. Mark Haskins overlooked no more the main event of the biggest promotion in England. A return 17 years in the making. Mark Haskins at one time was just another face in the crowd, but tonight he defeats his hero in the main event and cements himself as a major player in 1PW. We saw the full 1PW experience tonight. Thank you so much for the resurgence, the revolution, the return of 1PW. We can't wait to see you again in 2023. 1PW is back, and 1PW is only getting started.